So on this Home Depot, I was really kind of excited to see a big cat Leia like this one. This was the Hawaiian wedding song. And unfortunately, um, I already had this one and I'm not really crazy about just complete white ones. I, in hindsight, I should have taken it. I believe it was $29, but um, I left it. I saw some yellow dancing ladies, some dens of all colors. They had beautiful phalaenopsis, like always, in the clay pots, which I like those clay pots. A lot of um, Brasavala crosses, so most of them I had. Actually, all of them I had. Yep, I got two of those. But look how pretty. You go and you, you can, you know, pick up a file or you can pick up that's the that's that's the good part. You never know what you're gonna find. And um the more often you go, the more you realize that um you could pick up some really, really nice looking um potted budded uh catleas. So they have oncidiums, not a lot, maybe two or three varieties. They have dens of course. And some of them are your regular dents, but what they do sometimes is they double pot them. So you'll see two dents in a basket for around $30, $34. So if you're loving dents, the basket itself sometimes costs $12. So imagine, that's a great deal, two dents in a basket. They have the bromeliads. And here are some of my top picks. This is us walking to the register. Hi guys, uh, welcome to Melissa Loves Orchids. I'm Melissa and I love orchids. So today, this is like a continuation to my orchid shopping video. I'm not in the orchid pergola because as you can see behind me, it's raining. And it's funny because a few days ago I said, it needs to rain. The orchids want some rain water. They want to be flushed. Yeah, well, it hasn't stopped raining for three and a half days now. So I take it back or maybe that's it. That's all we need. We're good, we're good. Can we stop for a little bit? It gets a little crazy um, being home, not working in the summer with your kids both home and then you can't do a lot because it's storming out and the streets are flooded and all that but luckily i have to be grateful that the plants got a good flush and nothing got damaged in the orchid pergola everything is fine um it's gloomy so today in the morning it wasn't raining that much so i said I better take this time to step out and see if I can go back to the sale. So, from my previous haul video, I wasn't gonna make a haul video, but it, you know, it's the one that's called, this is not a haul video. <laughs> so that one, I, I told you before, I had a friend that told me, go to Casa Planta, it's in Miami, and I'll put the picture so you can see where it's located if you are local and you wanna visit head over there because I talked to the owner and they are getting a lot more orchids. And they're getting them from a couple of locations because the tags say where they're coming from. They're coming from Hawaii. So that's fun. I was actually thinking of getting um, a box from Carmela. Carmela's in Hawaii. And then I bumped into the orchids here at Casa Blanca, Planta. And it is 10 minutes away from my house. So that's good and bad good and bad so yeah I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I got and that's it and I was holding off because this weekend was gonna be the um, Ophi's little um, orchid sale but unfortunately due to the rain we might have more rain this weekend Friday maybe Saturday 
Father's Day is Sunday and it was going to be just a two day sale and those two days seemed to be 80% and 90% rain. So um, Carlos said, we're going to move it on to the next week. So I said, oh, wow, I was going to get a couple orchids at the um, Ophi sale, but now what am I going to do? So let me go to Casa Planta and see if there's anything else. So the last time, I don't know if you recall, what did I get at Casa Planta? I got my first Zygo Petalum and now I don't know where I put it. I wanted to show you. Where did I put her? Hi! Is she here? Oh, I don't know where I put her. But anyways, maybe if she turns up. If she turns up, I will show you my Zygo, my first Zygo. I'm so excited. I think I decided I'm gonna put her in the fur bark that I got, so. Let's see. The next thing I wanted to show you was, oh, look at this beautiful variegated fowl. And you know now, I have a thing for fowls. I have a thing, look at my Shilly Rihanna doing awesome. You know, mounted, they look great. So I'm having a thing for fowls and also a thing for dens. Who would have thought that um, that was gonna happen. So I believe, oh, here's the tag. Phalaenopsis orchid single, three inch, um, $14.99. So everything that is not in bloom, they would take, they take a 50% off. So look at that beautiful variegation in the leaves. A beautiful new leaf growing. I don't have any need for that. But look at that. I am so happy with this. Green roots. Can you see them? Green. Looks like they are healthy. I can't wait to get. Okay, I just want to take a peek. I'm not being hasty. I'm going to let her acclimate. But look at this for $7. I think this is a good deal. I'm very happy with this. Even look at the bottom. Look how pretty. I really, I can't wait to dig in through this. It's so relaxing. I probably can't do it today because I'm gonna make dinner and then I have to teach spin class and I have to pick up the house. And it's funny because I saw a funny meme yesterday about plant people and they could have craziness going on in the house, chores to do in the house. They will run outside first. Yeah, well, that is true but I leave time and I and I prioritize you know my kids are first then I do my plants then I do the, then I do the chores so anyways and I'm gonna make a nice dinner tonight and I'm very excited but this makes me so happy look at this so what do you think a variegated fowl for seven dollars casa planta let me show you what's next So this one, I think you ha you saw me in the video. I was really, really eyeing these. This is a Miltonia. I don't have any, any in my collection. So I want to try. I've heard that these can be finicky, but these are the warm weather ones. You don't have to keep them in the cold. Um, so that's what they told me. So I'm hoping that is true and I will show you her tag. So again, it has the QF, which I told you last time, it's Quintal Farms in Hawaii. Metonia Brown, it's a clone. So it has, didn't look brown at all. I will show you her picture. She is beautiful. And look at this beautiful, healthy plant. This was the price, if in bloom, if the blooms drop, which they did, then it's 50% of this. So yes, 50%. Oh my gosh, I know I'm so excited. I'm gonna keep it calm, keep it calm because it's just a plant. <laughs> okay, I know I still get excited. I am still new and I still get excited when I acquire new plants that I don't have. So it's super muggy out here, but I, that's fine. That's, totally fine because I need to show you a couple more things. The next one I had my eye on. I had my eye on. 
I had my eye and honestly I have two of these that one of them with the leaves that are pretty like this but not as pretty and another one that has just the plain leaves and I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a, a little peek at them but look at these leaves <gasps> look at that so this is actually it has two fans see this color here this wine color that's the color of the bloom i will show you the the tag guys this has an am aos award of merit from the american orchid society i got this for half price so twenty dollars for this papio petalum it's a lot Magical hijinks. Ooh. <laughs> Magical wood. Lehua. Lehua. Pink pleasure crossed with Luna hijinks. Pale moon. I'll put the picture. It was to die for in this little pot. So I'm going to have to find another pot to put her in because I, I don't want to leave her in here. But at the same time, it also looks fine in here. And I think I'm going to try to listen to the expert growers and let her have a little acclimation time because really there's no reason. A lot of times when I get back babies, there's a reason. They're coming out of the pot and you know, sometimes the substrate is done for, but this one looks so good. I might leave her here for a little bit and I might leave her here underneath the patio where she's protected from excessive water and uh, I'm so happy with her, $20. Look at those leaves, one more time. Oops. Oh my gosh, I love her. I love her. I'm gonna put a picture of what the plant, the um, bloom looks like, because there, it's one thing of get, you know, you get them in bloom and then a little while later, bloom falls and whatever, but paying full price for a plant in bloom and then getting offered 50% off and watching it bloom yourself. I mean, I think the 50% off is the way to go. If you want, you know, double the amount, right? Oh, what do you think? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me show you my other path. This path I got at the Redlands last year. It's in pure bark. And the tag I got was just this, Path Complex Red Type. So it doesn't have a lot of detail in it and it hasn't bloomed yet, but it grew two new fans and it looks pretty good and it's growing. So I'm pretty happy. And the other path I have does have the pretty mottled leaves, but I got this from, who did I get this from? Triton Orchids. And look, it's growing, growing, growing. Nice leaves. And I bought it in, in Spike. This one has a cross with Suhakuli and Rothschildianum. So this one's beautiful. When this one was in bloom, I was super happy. So. This one and the other one looking so good inspired me to get a third because I don't have leaves that look as spectacular as that. These are cute, but these are cuter. Look at that. These are cute, but these are cuter. So yeah, somebody, somebody told me if you choose a plant, make sure you like the foliage. Don't just get it for the blooms because the blooms don't last that long. So I will put these back and show you what happened when I went to Home Depot. Because it seems to be a tradition, if I am around a Home Depot that's not my normal Home Depot, I go and check it out just to see what they have, okay? And if they have really big ones, ay, if they have really big ones, then I might go for it. And remember, I had a gift card. I had a gift card. So this is one bag baby that I found. And it looks a little bit 
bit like this. A little bit of flaring, I think. I will pull up the picture for you guys from Google. And I got two of these. So I'll show them to you. Here's her tag. I kind of took it out. But I try to get ones that I don't have. This is one that I don't have. RLC Joy Sokabi Shining. So it's lavender with purple lip. So it's kind of like two, two kinds of fuchsia purple. Let me show you, take it out of here. Look at the size. Look at the size of this. For $17, look at the size. I am super happy. Look at this new growth. Look at this new growth. Almost bigger than the last one. You know, that's a good sign. So I do have those um, mounts from the Orchid Supply Store and I was thinking I have to get something. So I have this one that might be perfect for this. How does that look? How does that look? I think it looks good. Something like this. She's gonna love it. I have three mounts, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna mount, what I'm gonna pot. But look at this lovely plant. Look at this orchid. And then I've had, I've had ones that have a little bit of speckling and that kind of tells me that there's going to be some kind of flashiness in the flower so at least that's been my experience i look at these green roots everything looking good nice pseudobulbs i mean this is fantastic so i have her twin so here's the thing i either i either mount them separately or i pot them together and i'm i'm liking the community pot thing so I know, I heard they might um, compete for the nutrients or what have you. I think they'll be fine. Let's see. The next one. Oh, I better not lose the tag. I better not lose that tag. The next one, here it is. And just by the weight on this bag baby, it kind of made me feel like this is so substantial. Some of them are like, they feel light as a feather. And I run in the other direction when I find them like super light. When they have substance like this, I have found them to have good roots. They're hydrated, they're newer, okay? The old ones are dried up sometimes, so you gotta run away when you see them old like that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, let's take a look. What do we have here? I like opening them for the first time with you guys. I love it. And then I feel bad at the same time. So it's like, yay! And then I feel bad at the same time because some people tell me that they don't have these in their Home Depot or in their big box stores. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I know, I, I feel like I have found a good thing and, and I want to share it, but then sometimes, you, you know, you, you can't. You don't have it. Or maybe they, you know, maybe you need to ask for it. Someone had told me that if you ask the person who orders, you could very well, you know, make an impression, show that there's a, a need, a demand, and they might get them. So again, RLC, Joy, Sokabe, Shining. Sokabe, Sokabe. Um, the tag says 20, 2021. So let me show you again a big new growth there that looks beautiful i think she looks awesome big green roots that are hydrated of course it's been raining in miami for days so it makes sense i had to go save her now i had to go and um rescue her what am i gonna do leave them there for for you know the monsoon that's happening over here? No, I had to take them home. So two of these lovelies, pretty big size. I think the first one was a little bigger than the other one. Two, three, four, five. Yes. So yeah, better grow for the win. Going and finding 
bargains. Oh, I love it. Can you tell? Can you tell? And the worst is when you have, not the worst, the best, is when you have a gift card burning a hole in your wallet. Burning a hole and you're like, what am I gonna do with this? I gotta go. And I had been stir crazy in the house with the kids for three days of, can't really step out because my whole front, um, uh, the street in front of my house was flooded. And if you look at the news, I don't look at the news. I don't watch the news. I hate the news. But if you look at the news, <laughs> sometimes you see like on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever, you see snippets of what's going on. And people with their cars stopping in the middle of the road and, and just pushing their cars and the whole street flooded. And it's like, you know what? Just take this as a sign that you are going to stay cozy inside your house and leave only when the weather gets better. See, right now it's like the non-stop drizzle drizzle it's muggy i'm sticky it's like it's not good but there's always an upside the trees the grass is super green i'm going to show you i'm going to add um a little snippet of video to show you my poinciana trees because they only bloom in june and they're hey wait a minute Hold on, I'm, I'll tell you, I'll tell you in a second. Um, they only bloom in June and um, yeah, they are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So here we have, and the leaves are a little dirty, but that happens sometimes with hard water. You clean them up and they look awesome. So yes, I got my um, Latoria Dendrobium, the big one at the um the sale yesterday and i potted her up already so then when i saw this one i said i want this one so look at the one i got yesterday real quick not yesterday the day before at casa planta look how big beautiful this was 37 minus 50. all right potted her in this pot she looks great and now I have another one. Look at the flowers. When I Googled, the flowers were pretty similar to this. I think they're both kind of similar. But um, Roy Taganuga Spots 4N. Yes, I've been looking for this. I've also been looking for the green flash. They didn't have the green flash, but they had this one. So I said, okay, I'll get this one and put her in a nice pot and that's it and that's it for now guys i don't have any more thank goodness right i don't have any more that's all i need for now now this substrate looks like it needs to go so i'm going to be yeah repotting soon but this is my roy taganuga I actually heard a lecture the other day, and I think it was Roy Taganuga, was it? Or was it Norman? I can't remember. But I love going to YouTube and finding lectures because you can hear people like me talk about orchids all day long and their experience, but it's a such a different thing when you are talking or you're not talking, but you're listening to an expert and um, they're giving a lecture probably at a society meeting or something like that. That's gonna be my next step. I think I have to join a society. I mean, I have my own friend society of orchids, you know, our, our YouTube friends, we call ourselves a society, but I think I need to join a real one just to see what it's about. I know a couple of other friends are in one and um, yeah, pretty cool. So what do you think? Roy Taganuga Dendrobium, so cute. Two Catleas, nice um, pinky, purplish fuchsia color, one Miltonia, one Papiopetalum, and one variegated fowl. I love it. I'm so happy with this uh, haul. And for now, it's gonna be it for a while. I think I'm good, right? Tell me in the comments, I'm good. I don't need any more. I got my mounting situation going on. I really am running out of room. So I'm gonna have to be a lot more selective. Now, I can't say I don't have a Miltoni, I got one. I can't say I don't have a, 
Well, I have everything else, I think. No, there's some that I don't have. I don't have some video. Yes, I do have a some video. Mm, what don't I have? What don't I have? Let's not think about that because then I'll head right back over to somewhere else. Um, let's, how about I'm going to be grateful and happy for what I have and come out here and give them the time that they need because one of the most important things that I am learning from orchids is that if you don't have time, and I've said it before, if you don't have time to come out and give them 10, 15, 20 minutes daily, don't even bother. I honestly, I honestly, that's, that's my honest opinion. Don't even bother. You need to be on top of them. You need to be on top of them. You're gonna be very upset when you get into your orchid pergola or whatever your growth space is and you have disaster, especially when the weather is kind of crazy, when you have nonstop monsoon rains and stuff, you have to check out what's going on. Like I've had to come out two or three times a day to dump out the trays that my rescue fowls are on because they collect water. And, and I'm not gonna have them for four days sitting in water. I mean, that would be a huge mistake. So if you don't have time for that, you, you have to collect what you have time for. If you wanna put them in the trees and let them do their thing on the trees, wonderful. I honestly, I wish that I could. If I could do that, I would put more on my trees and I would be really, really happy. I have to make do with what my environment lets me do. These trees over there do not are not conducive to letting my plants survive. I put them there before and it's too much sun and there's not enough shade and it doesn't work in my backyard. In my front yard, a couple of trees are good, but they're out to the side and you can't barely see them. And when the gardeners come, sometimes they trim them and it's like, no, no, don't trim them. But what can you do? So I keep them mostly in pots or I keep them on uh, mounts and I keep them all around. And it's working out for me so far. But if you don't have the time to come out and check on them and make sure that there's not a disaster lurking, because sometimes that happens, you look at them and you see, oh, three with spots, ah! Gives you the signal that you have to spray. So I actually am very proud of myself. I came out to the Porula and I sprayed um, the fungicide. It needed fungicide. I covered up long sleeves the whole thing i sweat 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 so much while i'm doing that that it almost feels like a workout and and i spray because these these vandas are great they bloom a lot but if you don't spray they're going to be spotted they're going to get um thai crud they're going to have fungal spots little dots everywhere you don't want that so i wish um that I didn't have to spray. I wish that I could do everything organic and, and wonderful, but it's not happening. So I'm doing my best. I'm spraying when I see a problem. I'm trying to keep up with once a month um, insecticide and fungicide. I'm trying to keep up as um, kind of like a prevention, especially when the rains come because the fungus goes crazy. So I'd like to hear what you think about my little haul. Even though raining, you know, days and days of raining is kind of, eh, you know, you can't be at the beach, you can't be, it's okay. Sometimes you kind of need to relax. You kind of need to take a step back and, can you hear that? Oh my gosh. I've got to go in there and do my in the house chores. But yeah, my cat is um, in heat. Can I say that? Um, yeah, I have to figure out, I gotta take her to the vet and figure out what's gonna happen because I have never heard a cat screaming so loud. I've always had boy cats and this is new and my whole family's like, what is wrong? She's rolling around. She's like, you know, there's shoes or sandals on the floor and she starts to roll around with the shoes and sandals and screaming that she was a little horse. I feel so bad for her. And she's only like eight, nine, nine months old. Ah, poor thing. Anyways, so signing off before I do my, oh, my Brasava lacrosse opened up. So let me give you a peek really quick, really quickly. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous. <gasps> I love her. These colors are so beautiful. The lime green and the white and pink spotted labellum. How gorgeous is that? 
<laughs> I love it. All right, love it. Bye, baby. So, yeah, call me, Home Depot. Call me, because I'm buying all your bag babies. Yes, for you. And sharing all my, my wonderful times doing so. So guys, I will see you next time. Like, share, leave me a comment. What do you think I did um, well in choosing? Like my, what, what was your favorite thing that I got today? Was it the bag babies or was it going to Casa Planta? What do you think of this? By the way, if you didn't see what the tag was last time, it's a spotted clown, BC spotted clown. Beautiful. I will see you guys later. I'm working on a video on watering, just on watering, because I had a lot of questions on how I water, even though I'm a newbie, I'm not an expert, disclaimer, you know, but still, um, people wanted to know how I do it, so I will share how I do it. Um, I am working on another one on tips when you go to Home Depot or big box stores and you're looking for bag babies. I got tips for you. What else is next? And I'm gonna do a whole bunch more nursery visits. The ones out in the Redlands, the ones out in Homestead. I've talked to a couple um, owners and I told them I'm gonna schedule a time to come and visit and show everybody on YouTube all the goodies you have. So stay tuned for those. Leave me a comment, leave me a, um, a like. Hopefully you could share with any orchid lovers out there. And if you could do a super thanks, I really appreciate it. A couple of you already have. And I'm like over the moon because that lets me go out and do all this. So thank you again and I will see you next time.